You the dash is a negative. Oh! Alright, let's get Okay. Um, sure. Where's the zoom? Oh, oh, I need it. Just up and down, yeah. You get to find a way from there. I can find a way from there. Yeah. Yo. Which one? 200. Nick is filming. Oh. My bad. programming software which is on computers that are in Mrs. Locker's room. And pretty much that's a motor block and that's a sound block, which we didn't use. And that's a move block. And that's a move. That's a move. Why did everyone do spreadsheets? Okay. Okay. Left out now. So, we first we tested the robot like moving with, because like we put one textbook under it and then we put two. So, with one textbook, the angle was 7.5. And then we put weights on it. Like, they're like, how much was that? For the sun, it was 20. Yeah, 20. So then together, all together, it was like 57.42. What, grams? Newtons. Newtons. I don't know how to say it. Newtons. Yeah, and then <laughs> all the forces are different forces that are put on the robot when it's like moving. And that determines the acceleration, which is at the end. Okay, and then we did one that was a bigger angle, which is 12.5. And the large thing? Okay. And that made it for the 7.422. And then all the forces, they're like different than this one because the angle is different. And the accelerations are different because the forces are different. And this is the large angle without the weights on it, which we didn't do for the small one didn't really move that much. And the acceleration is different too because there's less weight. There's less force on it because the angle. Yeah. And the next slide is just look very far away. Okay, yeah. We have to run it. Yeah. The different forces are put on the robot because there was like there was the force of diagonal, like the way it's going up or down. or down. The force of the friction, like how fast it's going. And then the net force, which is like all the forces combined. And the mass, which is like how much weight. And then that weight changes the acceleration a lot because without the weights, it went faster than with the weights. And the formulas for how many wheel rotations it will go to get all the way up. And how do you use Microsoft Excel because they have no idea how to use it? That was your part. Car plus. Yeah. I do that part. And yeah. Yeah, that's what we use when, when it we use our spreadsheets when it broke. Yeah, because the first time we made it, it like and we run it, it like imploded. So we had to make it. Yeah. So what did you do with the spreadsheets at home? Uh the spreadsheets we use that for like why it like fell off of the top plank and what we needed to change about Why? it. So you just kind of put stuff in and like the see form if the formula works. works. Yeah. 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 And that's just a big pair of eyes. <laughs> I don't know which program is it. The, the unicorn one. I didn't name it. I didn't name it. Yeah, you did. No, that was Ryan. Brian. Oh, yeah, Ryan's just like sixth grader who helped us build it. Antonors? Yeah. yeah. 
Wow. No, because it was like it doesn't look like the right distance. Alright. Why would you, you have to yeah. do a math project? Okay, you gotta stand on the other side now, right? To grab it. And like you can tell that it moves faster. And then so this time I had to get the wheel rotation white because it would always like fall off or it wouldn't go all the way. I used to have that. That's okay. And you can tell that it goes like faster when it's way down. Press the button. It's there's like it's gonna run, right? And it's gonna fall too. The top is gonna fall. Too. It's gonna fall. Oh. All right, yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're done. You're welcome. 